Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. So in this video we're going to be continuing uh, working on our application and we're going to be working on the back end of our application so that we can make the, the API call to OpenAI. But first we need to set up our uh, back end and then we can talk to OpenAI by generating a key, including the key in uh, that .env file and then we can consume it using our back end. So let's do that in this tutorial. So let's just dive right into it. So the application that we have is this right now. It's not generating anything or doing anything. So we got an error because we don't have a backend yet. So once you click on generate, it's gonna, it's not, it's gonna give you an error, which is, it's like a 500 error, like internal server error because we don't have a, a backend. So let's just go back here. And in the last tutorial, we created this path. We created the API folder and then we created a file which is a hello.ts so once you create the API folder and whatever you put inside of that folder uh, Next.js creates like a, like an API endpoint automatically so you don't have to do anything so this is where we're going to be working with uh, our application a good uh, and easy way to get the code that goes here is to go to OpenAI because we're going to generate a key and we need a key from OpenAI anyways so we might as well, right? So let's just go to, just open your browser. So I'm already here, but you can just type OpenAI Playground and that's gonna take, uh, get, get you to this point, which is the playground, right? So here you can ask OpenAI for things like write a short poem or something like that, right? Of course, if you haven't signed up for OpenAI, please go to openai.com, sign up, create an account, and that's gonna allow you to get a key. And then you can start playing here. So come to the playground and then here's where you can just uh, play with OpenAI, right? Or with ChatGPT or any of the models that Open, OpenAI has. So let's say that we want a short poem, right? So then we'll just submit it. And then it's going to give you like a short poem based on this model right here. The temperature, uh, this is the maximum length of the tokens. Uh, is it the, yeah, the tokens length. Here we have the model so we can choose between that model. And you know, there are more models here all of these right so that's the latest I mean we have um, uh, the the chat GPT uh, 3.5 turbo so it doesn't appear here but we have that one as well and I think that's because that's like a chat one yes so this is when you're chatting with the with open AI well I can do a tutorial on this but let's just go back here where it is complete and what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using this model the text DaVinci 003 the temperature we're just gonna keep it at that point we can uh, you know maybe uh, put it to zero it's gonna be like a well-defined answer if we put it to one it's gonna change the answer every time so we'll just leave it at that the reason why I came here is because if you go where it says view code that's gonna give you like all the code that you need already so well here you also have the prompt right so just uh, in that case, let me just uh, let me just delete this. Uh, how do let's just delete this, right? All right. So now let's see view the code, and then you don't have anything in the prompt. So this is what we have now, because we want to leave the the prompt open so that users can type whatever question they want, and then they get an answer. So that's why I just cleared the prompt, right? Okay. So the good thing is like usually it gives it to you in Python like this. But since we're using um, Next.js, so we need a Node.js. So we're just going to copy this code. We're going to go back. And then we'll just paste it here. So right now it's giving me that problem and all of that. And that's because, well, I don't have OpenAI. So I have to install this package as well. So let's just do that real quick. So stop the server. And let's just uh, install OpenAI, uh, the package. So npm install. Open AI, and that should give us uh, the package that we need. So let's just give it a second here. So it's loading, All right? And then you can go to the package that JSON, and it should be listed here. So you can see it there. Uh, Open AI. All right. So right now this is what we have. So let's just. Uh, so we're gonna need a key. Uh, so right now it's. Uh, I have my personal email here, but if you click here, that's gonna. So let me just go to the API keys and then I'll cut to that 
All right, so if you come here and then you just click on API keys, that's gonna take you to the API keys that you have and you can you know, generate like a new one. I have a bunch here, uh, but this is the latest one. So right now you have to generate your own key and then just get it from here. So just make sure that you copy and paste it because otherwise you'll have to you know, generate a new key every time. All right, and let's go back to the playground for now. All right. So that's pretty much, so just have your key with you for now, and then we'll create a file that where we're gonna put it. But let's just finish our backend. So you have the backend here. So this is what we got from OpenAI. So we have to make a few changes here. So we have the configuration, the OpenAI. Uh, so this is good. All right, so we have it like this, but we're gonna make a few changes. So we are gonna import things like this. So we'll just say import type because we have to give it a type to the handler. So it's going to be API next because we're using Next.js. So it will be like, we're going to be importing this. And then also it's the request and also the response. So we need that. And we're going to change this here to, to be an import as well. So we're going to call it like that. And then we'll say from because the package is called OpenAI. So we'll just say from OpenAI. Uh, let's have it like that. So that's how I have it in the in the text file that I already set up here. Okay, well, let's just save that here. Uh, this is the configuration. So we're starting a new configuration with this API key and this is where your API key is gonna be uh, consumed from and it's gonna be in this file. So we'll create that in a second. Now uh, we have this configuration. All right, and then Let's export the, the handler that we're going to be using. Export default async because we're going to make like an async function uh, call. And then we'll just say function handler. And we'll just open parentheses here. And we're going to have our like the request is going to be um, of type next API request. And then we'll just have the response it's gonna be the same thing next API but in this case response all right so once we have this we can make the call like this and then we're gonna have all of these go inside of here all right and I'll explain this in a second let me just let me just finish with this uh, open AI, it's gonna create like a completion. It's gonna use this model. The prompt is gonna be left empty, but the prompt, so we have to change this because since we're passing the body and and then there's like a text that we're passing from the front end, that's what we want our prompt to be so that whatever the user types, it's gonna come here, right? And then what else? Uh, you can add the, to the tokens there. We're just gonna leave it like that. All right, and then we just want like a, like a status just to make sure that you know we get things uh, 200 the JSON and then this is gonna give us whatever the result is so we'll just say result and then co completion which is how we named it uh, no not that completion that data uh, let's see okay but now instead of res response we need to change this to completion as well you can leave it as response, but like then you have to change a bunch of things. So it's better if you change it to completion because that's how we have it in the front end. All right, so the first thing that we did here was get these imports because these types, we need to put them here because we're using TypeScript. And then the configuration, we got this from uh, OpenAI, but we just uh, modified it a little bit. This is, the conf this is uh, so that we start a new configuration for OpenAI, right? And here, you're going to have your op your OpenAI API key. Here we're just exporting the default. This is the handler. We're just exporting the default function, which is the handler that's going to handle the, the call. And it's of this type. And there is a problem because this one is not being... Okay, I think I saw the problem. So the completion is going to be based on this model. It's going to be based on this prompt. And this is what's wrong here because this should be passed like that. Because the, the, the prompt is going to be set based on whatever the user, uh, you know, typed in the front end and that's being passed to the back end. And I'll show you in a second, but it's going to be oh, in this way, request.body.text. 
temperature we'll just leave it like that the rest will just leave it like that and i won't explain the rest for now maybe i'll do another separate tutorial and then we just get here the result and you know completion that data okay so let's just go so what i was saying here like the prompt right so you can set like your own prompt here but then it's just going to use that prompt since we want users to type whatever they want to type that's that's why we get the request the body that text so if you go to the front end you can see that we're passing the text the value here is whatever the user is typing we're passing as a text which is inside of the body that's how that's why we we do it like that in the back end as well all right and then the completion so you already see that the completion here is um so we're not using it but we're going to display it here so let's just do that really quick all right and here we'll just add the completion which is what we're getting from from the back end and let's just leave it like that we have to format the data that, that that we're getting but let's just leave it like that so that we can just test it for now and then we'll change it but we're getting the completion here which is sent from the back end okay so now we have our back end now we have our front end and now we just need the api key all right so let's just go here to you uh, to your source folder which is this one here let me just uh, do it like this and let's just create a new file that's going to be called that that emv and we'll put it outside but let's just move uh, just click here and that's going to get you outside of the inside of the source folder but outside of all the other folders and then we'll add one that says that emv and this is where our open ai key is going to be so let's go to our back end and we're going to name it like this so if you copy paste that and come to the file we we'll just do it like that and this is where you're going to have your key so whatever your key is right and you don't need this so you just need the key like whatever it is right so just like that all right so i'm just gonna i'm gonna get my open ai key and i'm just gonna paste it here in this way you don't need the uh the quotation marks you just have to paste it like that so do that and then um and then we'll continue from it but like i'm just gonna change this this is uh let me just here goes your open ai key ai key right all right so i'm just gonna change this for my open ai key so i'll be right back all right so just make sure that you have your open ai key i already changed mine i already put it in there so just make sure that you do that and let's just save it and now we can we can just run this so let's just go back to our terminal and let's just run this and give it a try to see what we got in the front end all right so we'll just go to our front end so this uh, open safari and let's just ask it something so what's one plus one right and then we'll just click on generate and you can see that this is changing and it's saying like loading and then it gives you the answer one plus one is equal to two so we can say uh what's the meaning of life and question mark generate and that's gonna give me like a hopefully like a long answer the meaning of life is subjective and can be interpreted differently depending on the individual beliefs uh, blah 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 um, it's up to each person to decide the meaning of life on the of for themselves all right so as you can see it's working so we got we connect our front end with our back end and let me explain you what's happening real quick so what we're doing here it's setting the value the completion the value is whatever the user's input the completion is the answer that OpenAI is going to give us and here we're just making the call to the back end which is included here in our project we go to the back end we're passing everything that we're that the user is going to input in the front end to the back end and then we're just uh you, we're getting it here right so we use this handler to handle all of that and we are telling it like talk to open ai and use this model and whatever we're passing as the text that would be your prompt so then uh, the back end is talking to OpenAI and is you know giving the, all the information that I just told you or whatever the user just typed and then OpenAI is just talking back to our um, our back end and just giving the answer and then we're just saying like okay give us the answer and then we send it to the front end and that's how that's how everything works and yeah just make sure um, you know if it's not working just make sure that you have your that EMV file here that you're uh, consuming the 
API key in this way here that you have named in this way as well and that you're using like the right uh, model I guess you can use a different model if you want to you just have to come here and just change it there and here you can see like the model so the name of the models and how they're taught uh, how they're called uh, we'll use maybe we'll do another tutorial we'll we use chat and then we we'll use uh, you know GPT 3.5 3.5 and so forth and so on all right so that's um, that's everything for this tutorial um, right now once again we got the completion here you can format the data in different ways so that this goes in different lines and so forth and so on so we'll see if I can um, I can do that or we'll fix that later once we add the styling and that's the that's the next part so we have our front end we have our back end uh, we're talking to OpenAI we're getting our answers so now we can um, style these applications so that's pretty much it so if you like the video uh, you know just leave a comment uh, just subscribe to the channel share it with other people and thanks for the support thank you